Okay, um, so the question we had is kind of what was the difference between um, elimination reaction and an addition reaction? So what we're going to do is do two different videos, this one being the addition video, and we're going to compare that with the elimination video that we've done, or that we're about to do after this one, okay? Um, in this one, we're going to add HBr to the alkene. So if you have any questions, whenever, feel free to ask them. So whenever you see this, of course, remember, you don't have to keep it in that form. What I would do is expand it to um, its Lewis structure so you can actually see the bonds and the lone pair so it'll be easier for you to write the mechanism for this reaction. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. sense, hopefully. And then remember, uh, for me, I like to show the arrows going through the actual atom. That's going to be, you know, um, taking the proton in this case or adding um, electro uh, to the electrophilic center or whatnot, okay? So um, let's show that. So here we've got an acid, okay? So if we have an acid, we should be predicting an acid-base reaction. And that's what we have here. It, the base here is going to be this um, set of pi electrons, right? And remember, well, let's just show the mechanism first. See, when we show this mechanism, what I'm saying here is this carbon atom is actually deprotonating that hydrogen atom, right? okay. that proton. So what we make is this carbocation here and the very stable bromide ion. So remember, over here we've got two hydrogens. Do you want me to show them, the explicitly show the hydrogen? Okay, so we've got two hydrogens there and one hydrogen there, right? So if that carbon is taking that proton, if it's deprotonating it, if it's being the base, it's going to have a full set of protons on it. So we're going to make a full methyl group here. So if we want to, we can show all of our hydrogens here. Does that make sense? And we didn't do anything to the amount of hydrogens on this carbon, right? We just took the electrons away from that. So let's just go ahead and show that hydrogen. Okay. And it's got that positive charge. So that's a carbocation, right? So a carbon with um, a positive charge. SP2 center, that means this can attack from either side. Okay, so we're going to get a set of enantiomers in this reaction. Okay. Um, you may ask, well, why didn't it uh, deprotonate, why didn't this carbon deprotonate this acid instead of this carbon, right? Why did we make this carbocation? instead of this carbocation, which was not formed. Okay, so this was not formed. Do you remember what we call this when it, um, the hydrogen adds to the um, carbon with the least amount of hydrogens? Do you remember what it's called? Is that Russian guy's name? Markovnikov, yeah. So this is Mar what we're showing here is Markovnikov addition. Okay. So so here we're showing the Markovnikov carbocation. This one's not formed. Well, why is that? Well, if you look, this is a primary carbocation down here, right? This carbon is only attached to one other carbon. Here you see it's a what kind of carbocation? Secondary. Secondary, right? And 
you remember which one's more stable? Second. The secondary. That's why it's formed. Remember, in chemistry, you want to form the more stable things. Okay? So that's why this intermediate is formed. So this is the intermediate in the reaction, like if you were drawing the reaction diagram. Remember those? So now what we're going to do is show the attack of the bromide ion. like that. So it can attack. So this is planar. It's trigonal planar, right? Because it's the sp2 center. So you can attack from what we call the back, back face or the front face, remember, on those sp2 centers. So you all, hopefully you can see we have a methyl group, a hydrogen, and a cyclohexane ring, right? Those are three different groups. And if we're adding this bromine, that's going to be a fourth different group. So we're going to make a stereocenter there. Okay? And there's no, uh, no reason why um, the bromide would prefer to choose the back face over the front face. Okay, so we're going to get what we call a racemic mixture. Remember that? So it's a 50-50 percentage of the two stereoisomers, the two enantiomers. So let's just show that. So what we're showing here um, is, we'll say, the back face attack. And what that means is the bromine is coming from the back side of the board to attack that center. Okay, so when we show that. If that happens, that hydrogen is going to be pushed towards us. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, the bromine is going to be back. So that would be the molecule without all its hydrogens. If you wanted to put the hydrogens in, we could. The one hydrogen that's on that sp2 center that's now the um, stereo center would be pointed towards us. Like that. Okay? So that would be from the back face attack. Let's show the other one. So I'm going to erase some of this. Is it all, all right if I erase this bottom part? So I'm going to show it on the same, uh, the same um, carbocation here, just so I don't have to draw. So, like that. So that would be coming from the front face. center. Okay. So if that happens, where's the hydrogen going to go? To the back. To the back, right? So the bromine, if we're just going to show with this without its hydrogen, so it's going to be pointed where? Okay. To the front, yeah. To the towards this. So we're going to show a wedge. And in particular, since they, all of their stereocenters are opposite of all of these guys' stereocenters, all one of them, right? We call them an antium. Okay. So that would be like uh, what we say, Markovnikov addition uh, to uh, an alkene. So more common competition of HBr to an alkene. So 
So we could show the opposite reaction, which we're about to show, the elimination of HBr from, we'll say, one of these molecules, whichever one we prefer, okay, to give an alkene, okay. So does this make sense? Does anybody have any questions on this one? I know it's early morning, we just walked in, so. It's okay if there's none. <laughs>